good to be back in studio, Neft. Yeah, it's good to talk to you. Uh, I think last time we talked to you, you're having minor surgery, right? So how is everything? Yeah, came off the surgery and rehab was great. And uh, then we got back with OTAs and, and mini camp, finished up the uh, the off season with the Giants, and now I'm back. Uh, Slaying the selfish beast, as we say, with Coach Schlegel, uh, Larry Nidus, B-Roll, uh, a, a little group of NFL guys working out right now over at the at the Woody. One of the best things about being a former Buckeye player is access to the facilities, obviously, but chance to be around guys like that. Hey, look, you're a guy who can motivate yourself on your own, but it helps a little bit. Get one more rep, one more hit on the tackling side, whatever it is when you're around guys like that. Oh, absolutely. And uh and Coach Schlegel, he's great. He's a great motivator, and uh, he he works right there with us. It's, it's pretty amazing. Has it set in Super Bowl champions? It has. Well, I got the ring right now. You know, uh, wearing it around. Oh, that's so um, cool too. It's, 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 every time you look at it, you have to smile, right? It does, especially in the sun. A little sparkle to it uh, it brings a smile. To your they didn't face. spare any expenses there. <laughs> no, no, it's nice and big, nice and heavy. It's uh, a little bit heavier than the Big Ten rings, but um, it, it's a it's a great honor. Jim Cordell joins us here at 97 on the fan in studio, New York Giants offensive lineman. Uh, so what are we at, training camp in about a month? July 25th we report for training camp. So a little less than a month. A little less than a month, and we're, we're getting after it. We've got about uh, three, more, three and a half more weeks of training. You've played this sport since you were probably, you know, my size. <laughs> when you were probably when you were six years old, you were probably my size. This time of year rolls around, you get a little extra pep in the step, a little, little more energy. Yeah, you get excited for it. Uh, you, you, you dread training camp a little bit because it's uh, – you know, it, it's it's long. It's the hours, the work, the sweat, the heat. But uh, you know, we no, no more two a days. So, but it, it's fun. You go in and, and uh, you compete for a job. How were OTAs in mini camp and, and really seeing all the guys together for the first time? Probably, I'd imagine, since the parade. Right. Exactly. And uh, everybody's back together, working hard uh, in workouts, OTAs. It's uh, we don't have pads on. Uh, it's it's a little bit slower pace, but it, it's good to be with that group and uh, keep keep going from the Super Bowl as opposed to being locked out last year. Got to ask you about one of our favorites, a good friend of yours, Jake Ballard, claimed off waivers by the Patriots from the Giants. How's Jake doing? Yeah, if we could talk about that for a second. It's uh, it, it's tough situation. Um, you know, we tried to slide him by mini camp time, mm -hmm. put him on the uh, injured reserve list before camp as opposed to him counting against the camp roster because he will not be able to play this year after the microfracture surgery. And uh, you know it was it was a shock. He, he was disappointed. We were sad to, uh, you know, the, we're not going to be together. But um, you know, once he got there, Bill Belichick welcomed him. Tom Brady, uh, he, he's rehabbing up there right now. So it's, uh, it, you know, he'll be fine. I guess it's one of those things, such as the life of a pro athlete. You know, you, you get paid to play a game, and I know it's obviously a lot more difficult than as easy as we make it sound, but. Some of the downfalls are mm -hmm. you could be changing jobs and changing locations with the snap of a finger. Absolutely, and it's not out of your control whether it's the injury situation, anything like that. And uh, it wasn't supposed to happen, but it, but it did, and, and and both teams will move on. Yeah, absolutely. We're still rooting for him. He's still a Buckeye. He's still a good yeah, friend no, of yours. Absolutely. We still love him here in Columbus. How's he doing? I know he hurt his knee, obviously, and that's a, a tough injury to recover for, a pretty grueling rehab. How's he doing? So he's probably going to be out this year anyway. Okay. They'll put him on the on the injured reserve list as opposed to us being able to, but he'll come back and now and now we'll see what happens. They they've got some great tight ends, but if he can get in there, be the player that he was and be a little bit better, he'll contribute and, and catch a lot of balls from Tom Brady. What do you look forward to most about training camp? It's grueling days. I actually spent two summers covering Steelers training camp for a couple months, living in the dorms with the guys. It's intense. It's nasty. It's it's not fun. It's not like you go practice football for a couple hours and you get to go hit the bars. But surely you look forward to something about I'll it. I'll tell you what you look forward to. Well, there's four preseason games. Yeah. So as opposed to at Ohio State where you have one jersey scrimmage and you got to wait all that time. You're going against the to same finally guys play over an actual and over. Game. You you almost have two weeks of of going against the guys, but then now you're in game preparation for preseason, even though it is preseason, and, and you get to play in those preseason games. That that that's a lot of fun. Jim Cordell from the New York Giants is our guest here on ninety seven one The Fan. I found this interesting, and the last time we spoke to you, brought it up as well with the New York Giants. You don't hear a ton in the off season uh, with the Giants. There's not a lot of drama, controversy. I know it starts with the ownership and the coach, but just it, it really does filter down to the players as well. I find that fascinating. In a league like the NFL where if you spit on the sidewalk, someone's going to report it. It's like with the Giants, you don't really get a lot of that. No, there's not There's not a lot of that. The, the biggest thing was the Jake Ballard situation. Yeah. And, and, uh, but that's what it is. It starts with the ownership, uh, the general manager, manager Jerry Reese, and, and Coach Coffin is, uh, is superb. He's, he's the best in the business.
I was going to say, I looked it up. I Googled the New York Giants today just to see if anything was going on we could talk to you about. And the story was, owner John Mara never lost faith in Tom Coughlin. That was one <laughs> of the stories. And another story was some guy in Dallas who was not happy with his Cowboys. I think it was a blogger who was saying, Eli Manning's the biggest difference between the Giants. And that was it. That was it for the New York Giants. I was like, boy, you guys are boring, but you're also winning. So yeah, yeah, you take boring exactly. and winning over anything else. Every year. <laughs> happy that Hard Knocks isn't coming to training camp. Yeah, that's that would be a, a unique situation, and um, to Coach Coughlin would never let that happen. So uh, in, until he's gone, that that will not be uh, happening with the New York Giants. Let me ask you about the Buckeyes real quick, and we'll get to the Cordell Cares Foundation and all you have going on. Uh, Urban Meyer comes in um, six, seven months ago, eight months ago, and uh, boy, head spring ball. He's been recruiting like crazy. You're around the facilities. You kind of feel that excitement again. Yeah, absolutely. You feel the excitement. It's uh, the staff is very innovative, young, and, and exciting, and. And they can draw a lot of energy and, and bring a, vo- a lot of uh, excitement to the program. And the rec- recruits want to come. They want to play for Coach Vrabel, Coach Fickle, Coach Meyer, uh, you know, Coach Herman with the offense. I mean, those those guys are are the best. Um, you know, they're they're they've, they're show their personalities on Twitter, and you know, they mm-hmm. just they they know how to connect with the guys. Uh, and it, it's it's really showing in the recruiting. When you're over there, is there any guy you see who stands out physically in the way you're running around? Any guy leading? things over there well of course you've, you've got john simon mm-hmm. and um you know he's a guy that uh is in there he was there at 6 a.m this morning when i was working out he came in had a had an extra lift and now he's going to go back and run it at, 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 well he's they're running at four o'clock today mm-hmm. or they did run and um in the heat, heat of the day you know and he'll be leading the pack uh and that that goes without saying but there there are guys uh like curtis grant that's stepping up and, um, you know, young guys, Shazier, obviously those two guys in the line, linebacking core that uh, they can really, you know, really lead this this, this defense. So you got to be pretty excited about this upcoming Buckeye team. Even without a bowl this year, it's still they should put up some nice wins. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I think all the – the uh, what do you call them? When they, when, they, when they say, hey, the projections. Sorry. Yeah, the projections. Okay. You know, one loss, two losses at the most. Hey, this team can do that. They can They can win. Um and, and and you see it. The guys are, are coming in for extra work, uh, skills and drills, and, and you know doing that on their own, spending a lot of time there this summer, uh, and it's, it's going to show in the fall. Really looking forward to. Can't wait for football season to start. Jim Cordell again from the New York Giants, former Buckeye Lancaster boy, is our guest here on ninety seven one The Fan. All right, I want to talk more about your Cordell Cares Foundation in one more segment, but let's just briefly mention this now, and then we'll come back and talk about what's going on. Cordell Cares Foundation is something you started. Um, you've been very fortunate, you know, to be successful athletically, and I think you've always taken it upon yourself as it's important because the community's given a lot to you. You want to give back to the community. So tell us a little bit about the foundation. Right. We started the foundation with the success we had with Bowling with Buckeyes in 2009, and now we're looking forward to a huge successful event again Saturday. The sponsors, they're all sold out, but uh, you can still come. We've got the silent auction items are pretty unique, uh, a lot of them. And uh, it, it's going to be you, you got to come just to check that out. But uh, it's, it's exciting to give back um, and, and to be, like you said, fortunate and blessed. And it's it's a lot of fun to do that as well. Cordalcares.org is your website for yes. more information for really about anything with the foundation, how to give back. And this Bowling with Buckeyes is this Saturday. Uh, Tiki Lanes in Lancaster? Yes. And there are a bunch of Buckeyes who are going to be out there as well. We'll mention them coming up in the next segment. This should be a fun event. Are you a good bowler? I'm, I'm not a good bowler, but no. we have a lot of fun. But that's what it. makes yeah. it fun sometimes. You're exactly. bowling like a 280, and you just can't wait for that next <laughs> one. You, you know, when you bowl like crap, you can have more fun with that. Oh, you can have a lot more fun. <laughs> All right.